what is up everyone welcome back to history behind the horror episode 22 and also welcome to silent hills now today we're going to be looking at lisa from silent hills and i guess that's pretty much a no-brainer because i think that's the only enemy in this game or demo i'm not too sure if i'm not mistaken if i'm not mistaken this is the only enemy in the game but anyway shouts out to a uh, mr michael spears he the one who gave me the wonderful idea to do this character because i had totally forgot about this since they unfortunately canceled this whole game so again thank you michael for the idea and also if anybody else got any ideas please put it in the comment section because i put them all in heavy consideration and i'm looking for something to do next right after this video so if you got any good ideas put it in the comment section and i will take it into heavy consideration so thank you so much for that and also remember if you do enjoy this video by the end of it please give it a like and also make sure you share and comment and if you haven't subscribed already make sure you do because we got a lot of things coming up soon that i'm sure you wouldn't want to miss so again thank you and like always i hope you enjoy the video Lisa is a ghost that appears in PT. Murdered by her husband while she was pregnant, she haunts the hallway that is being repeatedly traversed by the protagonist who is stuck in a loop. She has the ability to appear and disappear at will. Lisa is the apparition of a smiling woman who was murdered by her husband. She is unusually tall and gaunt and appears to be missing her right eye. Her hair was short and dark colored. She wears a long gray nightgown and one high heel shoe. Lisa also has a bloody stomach. She emits sounds similar to hysterical sobbing and laughter. Lisa can possess the player if she enters them. This can occur if the player gets too close to her, at which point she will then rush at them, though she can also possess the player through other similar situations. When Lisa possesses the protagonist, the player will hear her breathing behind them and they will have a third footstep. On occasion, if the player turns around while they are possessed, Lisa will brutally attack the protagonist. Sometimes she will appear behind the player, twitching violently. These appearances will be accompanied by sounds of her moaning in pain, the sounds distorted as if coming through some sort of speaker. A nearby photo that has the words gouge it out written on it along with a hole where the right eye should be is potentially connected to this trait. It can be inferred that Lisa's right eye was gouged out due to Lisa having no eye when appearing to the protagonist. It is unknown if the writing on the photo is hers expressing a desire for revenge, i.e. an eye for an eye. This action may also be a biblical reference. If your right eye causes you to stumble, gouge it out and throw it away. It is better for you to lose one part of your body than for your whole body to be thrown into hell. Lisa's dress is bloodied around her stomach. It is mentioned in the radio report that she was shot in the stomach while she was alive by her husband while she was pregnant. This presumably killed the baby. A creature most likely representing the baby as an undeveloped fetus appears in the bathroom sink. Lisa will occasionally appear in the mirror as well as the bathroom itself, possibly luring the player to the baby. Michael used in the crime at his local gun store two days earlier. This brutal killing took place while the family was gathered at home on a Sunday afternoon. The day of the crime, the father went to the trunk of his car, retrieved the rifle, and shot his wife as she was cleaning up the kitchen after lunch. When his 10-year-old son came to investigate the commotion, the father shot him too. His six-year-old daughter had the good sense to hide in the bathroom, but reports suggest he lured her out by telling her it was just a game. The girl was found shot once in the chest from point-blank range. The mother, who he shot in the stomach, was pregnant at the time. Police arriving on scene after neighbors called 9-11 found the father in his car listening to the radio. Several days before the murders, neighbors say they heard the father repeating a sequence of numbers in a loud voice. They said it was like he was chanting some strange spell. There was another family shot to death in the same state last month, and in December last year, a man used a rifle and meat cleaver to murder his entire family. In each case, the perpetrators were fathers. 
State Police say this string of domestic homicides appears unrelated, though it could be part of a larger trend such as employment, child care, and other social issues facing the average family. Lisa can appear in the bathroom. When looking in the mirror, the reflection shows her standing inside the bathtub behind the protagonist. She will approach the mirror, shuddering violently, and then vanish. She can also appear standing in the bathroom itself. Lisa will emerge from a small wooden stairs that lead down to a looping door. She will walk past the front door in radio before disappearing. Lisa can appear in front of the locked door that leads to the concrete cell-like room. She will walk up to the digital clock before disappearing. Lisa can appear outside of all three windows. Lisa can appear up on the balcony after the glass shattering, where she will stare down and grin at the player. Lisa can appear in a concrete cell-like room. It is possible that the door to the hallway will be locked, forcing the player to await Lisa's attack or appearance. This can happen after the player has died previously or is returning from a past play session. One method, after the player is trapped in the bathroom and is forced to be possessed on the next loop, get killed by Lisa and restart. If the player exits the room backwards, they will see Lisa very briefly before they enter the hallway. The player might also sometimes hear her moaning in the basement room. <laughs> 